Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. This week, we're gonna keep it real sweet and simple. I am showing you how I make my at-home whipped body butter. I'm using shea butter with all these wonderful additions. I'm getting right into the video showing you how I do it. I'm not a professional at this, it's just something I like to do to keep my skin moisturized. All right, now some people do it with a double boiler method. Some people just, you know, get it to a soft stage and mix in their additions. I really don't care how it's done as long as I get it done, but got my double boiler set up here. I decided to take my shea butter and I cut it up into four sections. I could have cut it smaller, but it doesn't matter. I just wanted to melt it down a little bit quicker. Um, just showing you how it looks here. Popping that right into the double boiler little container and just melt that down. Okay, so I'm showing you an aerial view of how the butter melts down. Once I completely get it melted down, I like to add in my additional oils. I'll list all of the oils below and the benefits of each, but I pretty much just went kind of all over with the measurements. On two of the oils, I did like a teaspoon. On some of the other oils, I used a tablespoon. It's just whatever you feel like when you're making this. It does not have to be perfect. Okay, so this next step is completely optional. Please don't do this if you have sensitive skin and you can't take fragrances. I found this Vera Wang knockoff scent at my local um, swap aromas and I thought, you know, I love to smell good, so why not add a little scent to my body butter? But please take caution. If you're making this, what your skin can and cannot handle. Don't be doing extra and you know your skin can't take it. Now that it's all mixed up, I'm gonna put it into the freezer to kind of let it set back up into a solid and then we will whip it into a perfect body butter. So I'm using my kitchen stand to do this. I'm gonna use my whip attachment to whip some air into the butter so that it can get nice and fluffy. Um, please make sure you clean this out. If you're gonna use a fragrance, be sure to clean it really, really good to get that scent out of there. While it was mixing, I did notice that the butter was still pretty tough, so I added in an additional oil, I took some olive oil, poured it right in there, and I let that mix until the consistency changed. We want a fluffy, creamy butter for our end product, so just let that keep going till you notice it change in its properties. And here is the end result. Look at the difference from what we started and what we have at the end. It just looks more luscious. It looks more creamy. It looks like something you want to rub and moisturize your skin with. It just looks amazing. I love it. Smelling in my fingers is what it's supposed to do. And here is the final product. I love this butter, y'all. I've been using it for a week. And even though it looks like a lot here, I promise you it's gonna get used. It melts great into the skin, it's moisturizing, and it got a great scent, so I am so happy. And that concludes this video, you guys. I appreciate you watching. If you have not done so already, please subscribe to this channel. Please like it and comment down below. I will be back every Friday with a new video. And from here, I just wanna say thanks again. Have a great one, guys.